So Detained is, is a, a play that um, it's about the stories of people who are being detained in immigration centers, uh, detention centers. And uh, a lot of what, what uh, the play does is shed light on what's happening and, and how we got here. Um, so much of what, of what uh, the play deals with, it, it really just comes down to our, our laws and policies that at a certain level, we as a country have agreed to enact laws that, um, that have led to this, the, the detention of immigrants. Uh, 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 and and it, uh, we, we kind of see that the range of, of you know, we, we kind of, we see what that means. Yeah, uh, uh, it's, uh, the, the laws are such that um, they're very prescribed. And so, so it just means that, yeah, I think like for me, for instance, like I, I had convinced myself based on nothing, <laughs> frankly, that, uh, that uh, when you go before a judge, that the judge holds a lot of discretion and weighs evidence and looks at your history and who you are. And sometimes we do stupid things and, and it all happens, you know, it happens to all of us. And, uh, but it doesn't have to define us, right? But, but these laws are such that uh, judges actually have very little, if any, discretion. Like they're so prescriptive uh, that, um, that uh, you just automatically give end, end up in, in deportation. And the deportation system being what it is, it's like many people will spend more years in the detention center than they did in prison paying for their crime the first time. Like that's one example of, of what's going on. And so, so we hear over the, course of the, over the course of the play, we hear these stories of, of what's happening. And and in a lot of ways, we, we engage in a debate. We engage in a debate about who we want to be as a country and um, what are our values and, and are, does these, does, do these laws uphold our beliefs? And, uh, and, and I guess parts of it are uncomfortable. Like you, you have to sit in discomfort at what's happening because like I said, like whether purposefully or not, whether consciously, actively, or just by, by our own kind of uh, apathy or lack of engagement, we have allowed these laws to, to get passed and, and to, to be placed and, and the other, the laws of the land. And so at a certain level, we're, we, you know, we are complicit in, in what's happening. And it's kind of, you're asked to sit with that for a little bit and, um, and it's powerful. You know, it's also like these stories, you know, there's these beautiful characters and these beautiful, there's wonderful actors doing amazing work to bring them all to life. And it's for as hard as it is, there's also something really powerful and, and, and beautiful, I, I would say, about um, about people, you know, about, about hearing these stories that, that I think uh, I think kind of helps balance out that experience. So, so you don't, you don't necessarily leave kind of <laughs> uh, sad and, and wanting to poke your eyes out because you know, the world is so bad, but uh, you, you are left kind of uh, uh, with a sense that, that you can do something. And, and I think that's, I think ultimately that's really kind of what we can do and all we can ask. My hope for the audience uh, uh, in terms of what I'd, I'd like them to, to take away is, is the sense that, um, that, that, uh, that we can do something, you know, that, that we, we can actually change policy. Like it, it, it's doable, you know, it's, it's not easy, but, uh, but we elect people, like we vote, like we can do things pretty, pretty easily. You know, it's not, it's actually not a mystery how policy gets passed. Like it's pretty, pretty obvious, right? And so, so for these things that we care about, for these, when we hear these stories, my hope is that uh, people will find entry points where they can join the conversation, where they can kind of add their voices. And, and, and if these are things, if what you see that is happening are things that you disagree with, that you feel empowered and that you feel that you can do something about it, that we're going to be connecting audiences uh, with different advocacy groups here throughout uh, Los Angeles area. There'll be some talkbacks. There'll be some tabling that's happening around performances. There'll be some special uh, event engagement opportunities where, if it's something that you want to you, know, you want to you know, help change and do something about, we're helping to provide those connections so that, so that you can do it. 
and at the very least, you know, it's 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 bringing an awareness, right? It, it's it's you know, you can't unhear what you learned, you know, you can't unsee it, and so uh, at the very very least, you know, you, you, there's a moment where you kind of you, you sit with that, and and I trust that that does something, that that will make a difference somehow, and so um, I think my hope is that if if you come and you you're open enough to the experience, and uh, and if you'd like, you know, there'll be an invitation to uh, to kind of take some next steps. Audiences must see this because it's going to be this beautiful, moving play that I think you're gonna enjoy learning about and and seeing. It's uh, I think you're gonna you're gonna go on a journey, and um, and if you've been homebound, come come take a trip at the fountain. Hi, my name is Mark Valdez. I am the director of Detained by Francis Benson that is playing at the Fountain Theater. And I want to invite you to come see our show. Uh, buy your tickets, bring your friends, bring your family, come back into a theater. It's great. You'll be safe. You'll be in community. And after the show's over, hang around, learn some more about these issues around immigration detention. Let's make this world a little bit better.